Over the years, governments and media have joined hands to cloud our perception of money. Join us as we explore the deceptive aspects of money and how it influences our perception of wealth and happiness. In the early days, money served as a tool to facilitate trade and streamline economic transactions. However, as we fast forward to the present, its creation has evolved into a highly centralized process controlled by governments and powerful financial entities. These institutions have been granted the authority to print and regulate money at will, leading to serious consequences. Time and again, history has shown us instances of hyperinflation where governments irresponsibly printed money, causing severe economic collapses and devastating the lives of ordinary citizens. Such actions highlight the lack of accountability and transparency within the financial system, leaving us questioning whether this centralized control truly benefits the people or merely a select few in positions of power. The illusion of money's value is perhaps the most deceptive aspect. While currencies are no longer backed by tangible assets like gold, we continue to place faith in their value, believing they hold power and worth. But what happens when this belief is shattered? In reality, money's value is fragile, susceptible to fluctuations caused by market speculation, economic policies, and geopolitical events. Governments and central banks can manipulate interest rates and conduct quantitative easing, directly impacting the value of money. This has far-reaching consequences for ordinary individuals, as their hard-earned savings can lose purchasing power in the blink of an eye. The illusion of money's value creates an unstable foundation for our financial systems, fostering a culture of uncertainty and vulnerability. The debt-based monetary system is a frightening reality we must confront. Money is created predominantly through loans, and every dollar in circulation represents someone else's debt. Governments, businesses, and individuals are caught in a relentless cycle of borrowing, with interest payments piling up year after year. The interest on loans becomes a burden that stifles economic growth and prosperity. In some cases, entire nations have fallen victim to crippling debt, subject to the control and manipulation of external forces. This debt trap leads to a never-ending struggle to repay loans, leaving many without access to opportunities and the freedom to pursue their dreams. The power dynamic in this system favors those who hold the purse strings, allowing them to wield influence over the fate of nations and individuals alike. As money's deceptive nature plays out, the wealth disparity grows ever starker. A small fraction of the global population accumulates a disproportionate amount of wealth, while vast sections of society face poverty and struggle to make ends meet. Governments and financial institutions, often influenced by powerful elites, enact policies that exacerbate this wealth gap. Tax loopholes and offshore accounts enable the wealthy to evade their fair share of contributions to society. This leaves the burden of funding essential public services, such as education and health care, on the shoulders of the middle and lower classes. The disparity in wealth leads to societal divisions, polarizing us along economic lines, challenging the very idea that money brings prosperity to all. In response to the deceptive nature of our current monetary system, various alternative economic models and movements have emerged. Some advocate for resource-based economies, focusing on sustainable resource management to promote well-being for all. Others explore the possibilities of cryptocurrencies and decentralized finance, aiming to redefine the concept of money and financial power. While these alternatives may have challenges, they offer new perspectives on wealth and prosperity. It's time for us to engage in meaningful conversations about our financial systems and explore how to avoid being deceived.